Today's topic is about DNA damage and apoptosis. Already we have seen that different types of DNA damage and you are knowing that apoptosis that is programmed cell death. Now wherever the DNA damage sometimes that senescence an irreversible process in which the cell no longer divides. So it is a protective response to the shortening of the chromosomal ends. So here instead of that apoptosis senescence is occurring. So senescence in cells may serve as a functional alternative to the apoptosis. In cases where the physical presence of a cell for partial reason is required by the organism. So because that functional activity or physical presence of cell is needed so it is not going into the apoptosis but it will remain in a senescence. Now this will serve as a last resort mechanism to prevent a cell with damaged DNA from replicating inappropriately. Basically cell or organism try to keep that cell but don't allow to replicate. If this cell with damaged DNA is allowed to grow or this unregulated cell division can lead to the formation of tumor. So to prevent tumor formation further ability of cell to grow is stopped and that will remain in a senescence phase. So therefore the induction of senescence and apoptosis is considered to be a part of a strategy of protection against the cancer. Simple to prevent cancer formation organism or body will try to keep that cell in a senescence because that physical presence is needed by the organism. So that's all about the DNA damage and apoptosis and before apoptosis many times cell will undergo the senescence.